Hey, worshipers of Jesus Christ, let's pick it up right where we left off in Acts chapter 14 in the NIV version Bible. Let's pick it up. At Iconium, Paul and Barnabas went as usual into the Jewish synagogue. There they spoke so effectively that a great number of Jews and Greeks believed. But the Jews who refused to believe stirred up the other Gentiles and poisoned their minds against the brothers. So Paul and Barnabas sent considerable time there speaking boldly for the Lord, who confirmed the message of his grace by enabling them to perform signs and wonders. The people of the city were divided. Some sided with the Jews, others with the apostles. There was a plot afoot among both Greek both Gentiles and Jews together with their leaders to mistreat them and stone them. But they found out about it and fled to Lossilnia cities and Lestra and Debri and to the surrounding country where they continued to preach the gospel. Amen. So they found out the plot and, you know, saved them, you know, were able to save themselves in Lystra, there sat a man who was lame. He had been that way from birth and never walked. He listened to Paul as he was speaking. Paul looked directly at him and saw that he had faith to be healed and called out, Stand up on your feet. At that moment, the man jumped up and began to walk. Then the crowd saw that Paul what what Paul had done. They shouted in less Odinian language, The gods have come down to us in human form, Barnabas. They called Zeus and Paul they called Hermes because he was the chief speaker. The priest of Zeus, whose temple was just outside the city, brought bulls and and welch to the to the city gates because he and the crowd wanted to offer sacrifices to them oh boy so they thought they were gods and wanted to like give them stuff verse 14 but when the apostles barnabas and paul heard of this they tore their clothes and rushed out into the into the crowd shouting friends why are you doing this we too are only human like you we are bringing you good news telling you to turn from these worthless things to to the living god who made the heavens and the earth and the seas and everything in them in the past he let all nations go their own way yet he has not left himself Without testimony, he has shown kindness by giving you rain from heaven and crops in their season. He provides you with plenty of food and fills your hearts with joy. Even with these words, they had difficulty keeping the crowd from sacrificing to them. Oh boy. Then some Jews came from Antioch and Iconium and won the crowd over. They stoned Paul. And dragged him outside the city. Unbelievable. One second they want to give them sacrifices. The next second they're stoning them. Thinking he was dead. But after the disciples had gathered around him. He got up and went back to the city. The next day he and Barnabas left for Derby. Derby. They preached the gospel in the city and won a large number of disciples. Then they returned to Lystra. Iconium and Antioch, strengthening the disciples and encouraging them to remain true to the faith. We must go through many hardships to enter the kingdom of God, they said. Paul and Barnabas appointed elders for them in each church and with prayer and fasting committed them to the Lord in whom they had put their trust. After going through Pisida, they came to Pamphylia, and when they had preached the word in Perga, they went down to Atalia. Okay. From Atalia, they sailed back to Antioch, where they ha had been 
committed to grace of God for the work they had now completed. On arriving there, they gathered the church together and reported all that God had done through them, and now he had opened the door of their faith to the Gentiles, and they started their a long time with the disciples. Amen, amen, and amen. Um, I think something that I like about this is that they mentioned about fasting. I think sometimes we completely forget that that was a practice that was there, you know, um, the church was just growing and growing and growing as as Paul and Barnabas and all you know he was just preaching the gospel this guy literally got stoned you know uh, it's crazy and I think it's also crazy how there was just this huge big flip like we want to sacrifice to you you guys are gods let's stone them <laughs> like wow this is crazy it is crazy you know and I think a lot of times that's how it is in ministry. Oh, I know. We don't want to hear it. But, you know, I have felt that. That, you know, um, it's a lot, you know. And there's going to be times where people adore you. And there's going to be times that people hate you. You know, it's it's human. We're, we're flu- we fluctuate with our emotions and our moods and the weather. <laughs> But what should never fluctuate is our faith. It should just be growing and growing and growing. That should never fluctuate. All right, God bless you. Take care. Be blessed.